I kept waiting to find the right one. When I was a kid, wondering why the boys acted on their crushes so violently, the straights told me, you'll understand when you find the right one. When I was a baby gay who confessed that I hated kissing, the lesbians told me, you'll like it when you find the right one. When I broke up with my ex vowing to never live with another lover, the queers told me, you'll try it again when you find the right one. So I kept looking for the right one. I kept looking outside myself, thinking if only I could find the right one. The dread, the anxiety, the indifference to romantic relationships would fall away and I would be normal. Everything in the media, in the thoughts and attitudes of people around me told me a single person is an abomination, a half waiting to be made whole. But everything inside me felt whole already, felt angry at every time I betrayed myself, felt annoyed at the distraction intrusion of being part of an us, and wondered why love couldn't just be something that I had for and with myself. Love is only real when you share it with others. Self-love is possible, of course, but we know that it's its own separate thing, because otherwise, why would it need the modifier self? Self as in selfish, self-centered, self-involved. It's dangerous for a black femme to be selfish. So much depends on our labor. I was 35 before I even ever heard of asexuality, 40 before I knew that aromanticism was an option. When I looked at the white boys talking about their asexuality, they seemed so liberated and free. And when I saw the non-binary cuties talking about their aromanticism, they seemed so giddy and adorable. But when I tried those words on for myself, they felt ugly and broken and dangerously selfish. You know what they say about a woman who doesn't have kids or been married by the age of 35. Who hurt you? Is this because of your You're history not, as a sex worker? You could get a nigga if you tried. Did something happen to you in your childhood? With every shitty comment, I lost more hope, lost more community, until all there was left was me, selfish. And so I decided to lean into it. What would a selfish person do? What and when would they eat? When and how would a selfish person sleep? What interests would a selfish person pursue? Turns out selfishness helped me find self-care. Selfishness helped me find joy Selfishness helped me rekindle my creativity. Selfishness helped me learn how to prioritize myself in my life. Selfishness helped me find me. And I loved her, them, us. I had finally found the right one. It was me, myself, selfish.